Hey guys, I just finished making a video review about the Dark and Lovely Reviving Colors hair color I use. So therefore, I have on the exact same thing. That's why I just made it same day. So I'm going to go to, it's not a Divashan salon, but it is a salon that has a Divashan trained stylist. And I'm going in for my consultation today. Prepping for the consultation, they told me I needed to come in with my hair completely styled the way I typically wear it, curly, so that they can get a feel for the curls and how they fall and um, how I wear it, what look I'm going for. Um, so I need to do my hair. I co-wash this morning, and actually I, I shampooed too. So I used Kinky Curly Come Clean, which has turned into my... Um, staple shampoo that I that I use. It's pretty good. Um, I don't shampoo often enough for the price to deter me, though it's not that expensive. Well, it's, well, $11.99 at Target, and most shampoos are like $4, so I guess it's more than, than usual for a shampoo. Um, whatever, this is not about shampoo. This is about getting my hair ready for my consultation. So, my hair is twisted from today, so um, it's already dried. I love these little hats. I could have wore this all day, actually. So this is my hair twisted out. Um, typically, I'll do some like little bit of a flat twist in the top so that it lays down a little bit more. So let's get ready for my appointment. I wonder if you can see. The sunlight's kind of trippy. Um, I'm going to just untwist everything. I feel like, you know how you make faces when you put on makeup or do your hair? And I feel like I'm looking up, and so I'm going to get, like, premature wrinkles, like, thought wrinkles. Maybe I should stop doing that so much. I'm not going to do that anymore. Okay, so I'm going to untwist my hair and um, get it ready to be styled. If anyone is wondering, I used, um, on this twist out, I wanted a little bit more hold and definition, so I used my Garnier Fructis, um, Curl Defining Cream Gel? I don't know, I'll have to, I think that's the name of it. I'll put a note in there in the video if it's not the right name. But I've had that product since last year towards the end of, I guess, middle end of last year, and I've liked it. So um, with when I use that, I get a lot more definition. So just see, looking at this right now, it's not even like fluff, but you can already tell the definition um, in my hair. Shit. Oops. Okay. You can see. Actually, like, it looks cute like that. You can't really see it. Let me flip that over <laughs> so you can kind of see it against there now. All right, let me get this side taken down. Okay, for this twist out, I use the Garnier Fructis Curl Sculpting Cream Gel. This is what it looks like. Um, it has It's an extra strong hold, but they promote it as having a bouncy curl frizz control. So this stuff works really, really well. I like it a lot. I use this, and I also use my Shea Moisture um, on top of the Garnier Fructis. Make sure that, I mean, I know a lot of people don't read the... Um, description on how to use products, but for that Garnier Fructis, you do not need more than a quarter size amount. Like more than a quarter size amount is going to give you issues, usually. Of course, the longer or thicker your hair is, you can play around with it and kind of figure out what works for you, but really that that amount, like that product a little bit goes a really long way and if you use too much, it can go bad real fast. So um, 
sometimes it's good to look at the descriptions for how you should use a product. And a lot of times I think that people don't have success with products because they don't use it the right way. Um, even something as small as if you are supposed to air dry and you diffuse, or if you're supposed to use it on damp hair and you use it on soaking wet hair, just little things like that can cause um, big differences in the results that you get. But those two products are good. If you want defined curls, um, when I'm not trying to go for too defined of a curl, I'll typically just co-wash with whatever conditioner is in the shower, leave a little bit of that in my hair, and um, just twist when I get out. Maybe put on some coconut oil, but not necessarily. Okay, is this all I'm done? Oh, I have more. <laughs> and for anyone that watches my videos, um, when I do my flat twist or my regular twist, I always will bobby pin the root down. I just, my hair has been dry for a little bit of time now, so I had already pulled out my bobby pins. But I did bobby pin down. Um, the roots. Okay, so this is how it looks. This is straight, um, untwisted. I haven't fluffed. I haven't really done anything yet. This is what it's looking like. You can see how defined the curls are, or the twist, like the curls, twist, whatever. Like you can kind of see how springy they are. And that really can be attributed, um, that can really be attributed to the Garnier Fructis product. So again, that's, the light's kind of making me look blue, and I'm having a blue shirt. It's like tripping me out. I gotta keep moving. <laughs> but yeah, this is what it looks I like. typically do not, what am I trying to say? I typically do not just untwist my hair and go. Like, this is not um, really how I wear my hair. I like to stretch my curls. So because the consultation requires me to wear my hair styled how I actually wear it when I have it curly, I have my blow dryer. And this is just the Revlon 1875 Professional Styler. It's not special. I don't know where I got it. Maybe Walmart years ago. I don't know. And then my concentration nozzle. And previously in a video that I had, I actually think it was the review I did for the Shea Moisture. I kind of touched on how I um, stretch my curls, but I wanted to say that I don't really stretch my curls like that anymore. I watched a few more videos, and though that way of stretching my curls wasn't bad, I got a lot of, like, I lost a lot of the curl definition, and then I noticed they got frizzier faster. So, I did a little research, and I take my time when I stretch my curls now. But I start, I, I kind of take sections, I start from the back, and really what I do when I'm stretching my curls is I'll take a section like this, and whereas before I was taking my hand and going through like this and pulling it out, which you're, you know, you're stretching your curl, but you're also losing some of the curl definition. Now I'll take a section like this and then pull and hold it, and as I'm holding the hair, I'll apply a little bit of heat to the root, and that stretches it, but you're not necessarily messing up the pattern of the curls. Okay, so taking the curl like this, applying heat. And um, you can kind of already see that it's stretching it, but it's not disturbing the pattern of the curls. And I just kind of go through my hair and do it in sections. So this will be the before picture. This will kind of be before what it looks like, and then I'll show you guys after.
Okay, guys, my battery on my laptop died while I was um, stretching my curls. So for the most part, you could kind of see the difference in how I did it before and how I'm doing it now. It looks a lot more relaxed now. Before, I used to be going through my hair like all crazy. Um, and no, I don't do that anymore. So I stretched my curls, nothing too dramatic, but a nice stretch. But I was still able to keep most of the curl um, definition. So I have the curl definition that I wanted. I just have more of a um, fuller look. I don't like it when it's like sitting so close to my head and it's shrunken. I like it when it's a little bit fuller. So um, yeah, again, I get more defined curls when using the Garnier Fructis Curl Sculpting Cream Gel. It looks like this. You can get this at Target, Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, any of those stores. And I think it costs about maybe $4.99 on average. And um, this is what defines my curls and um, offers a little bit of hold. And then to moisturize, I use the Shea Moisture um, Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk. And um, I find that that adds the moisture that I need on top of the gel. So this is my look. This is how I'm going to go in for my consultation. Um, this is how I wear my hair when it's curly. So they can kind of look at it and see how they would be able to cut it. I've already talked about how I'm kind of on the fence about this, the cut. Um, I think I just don't want to cut my hair. I want to trim my hair. I don't want to cut it. But I'm kind of interested in seeing how they can maybe add some shape and movement. So who knows? I'll let everybody know how the appointment goes. But again, this is my look for my consultation. And um, thank you for watching this video. I'll keep you guys posted on how everything turns out. Bye.